Dr. Heingari said that the president is leading by example by flying with a commercial airline and is traveling with a significantly reduced delegation of key ministers. The president will travel with a commercial airline. And in terms of uh, the time required to get to China, it might be longer. Uh, but uh, the president has chosen to lead by example by using a commercial flag. It's a small delegation by by any measure. Um, when you look at uh, the, the number of ministers traveling, it's about eight ministers. All of them will perform critical functions. Hangari said that the trip has come at an opportune time for bilateral relations with China and the president will be signing a number of agreements, including the construction of a satellite ground station that will be used to aid the Chinese space program. The, the space tracking telem telemetry and command station based in uh, Aswakopmund, uh, a, pro a project that has played a very significant role in China's space program. So Namibia has been a base uh, and contributed positively. That agreement has expired since 2015 and a new one is likely to be signed in China with uh, new elements to it uh, that would include China constructing a ground station, a satellite receiving ground station in Namibia uh, and the potential for uh, the training of Namibians uh, is, uh, is quite great. Hangari concluded in saying that business delegates are paying their own traveling expenses and Namibians should rather be focusing on the socio-economic growth that will stem from the visit. Um, I think uh, what we should do at times as Namibians is to, uh, to compare as opposed to just take an inward-looking approach of some of these things. Let's compare. Let's look at what is best practice elsewhere before we arrive at conclusions about the size of the delegation. Uh, we should critically focus on what can emerge, what are the possibilities that can emerge from this type of uh, engagements. The delegation departs tomorrow to China and will return on the 3rd of April. This is the first time in eight years a Namibian president will be meeting with the Chinese head of state.